What's going on guys, this is the Brigade once again, and we're back at it with another session of Killzone Shadowfall. Alright guys, so this is going to be an introduction into my new series, and this series is going to be called Objectives 101. Now the title is pretty much uh, straightforward, but um, in the event that you may not really know what direction I'm going in in this thing, uh, this series is basically going to be directed toward um, newer players maybe or maybe players who have done a crap ton of TDM and you're not necessarily familiar with what you should be doing um, as these objectives are changing um, so I'm going to be giving tips on how to approach them uh, what you can do to satisfy some of these challenges and I'm going to emphasize the importance of spawn beacon placement throughout this series Alright, so the first objective type that we're going to talk about is Beacon Safeguard, which is pretty self-explanatory. Your job is to get the beacon and safeguard it as best as you can. Now, it's going to be three colors, white, red, and green. When the beacon is white, that means no one is in possession of it. So as you guys can see for yourself, no one has it. So it's your job as not only an individual but also your team to stop whatever the hell you're doing and chase after that beacon. Now, once you get the beacon, the icon will turn green either for um, your team or for you. So in other words, when your team has it, it will be green. When you have it, it will still be green, but obviously, you know, your team will be able to see it because you're the person that they need to protect. When it's red, it means that the opposing team has it and you need to chase it down. Now, even if you can't get the beacon yourself, you're still supposed to chase it down because, you know, any people that you can take down in pursuit of that beacon is going to be helpful to the rest of the team. As far as spawn beacons are concerned, you know, uh, when you're chasing down the beacon, it's good to place spawn beacons in the general vicinity of the spawn beacon holder because the last thing that you need is to have your whole team starting over at the base trying to chase it after the beacon holder right because I can't emphasize this enough a lot of people are losing objectives simply because they don't have boots on the ground they have to start all the way back from the base and they lose simply because of timing right because um, in so far that you in so far as you have to run all the way from the base that's time that your team could be gaining ground I don't know how many times I've been in the war zone and when you look at the final stats you'll notice that your team actually outshot the opposing team right you had more kills more headshots more everything but they lost mainly because they just simply didn't have enough boots on the ground right so if you're going after the beacon your job is to place um, uh, spawn beacons in the general vicinity so that you can have more boots on the ground to try to get that beacon back if you're the beacon holder right or if your team is in possession of the beacon your job is to once again either get a spawn beacon you know like right at where the beacon holder is because keep in mind you want that whole team to spawn in on the beacon holder because your team is responsible for defending you no matter how great you are you know even if you have a damn 10.0 KDR you can't kill off 24 players by yourself <laughs> right no matter how great you are no matter how much you may be in a forums bragging no matter no matter how many you know times you've bragged to your friends or how much of a beast you are you can't kill off 24 players by yourself so that's your job get the beacon and either um, find a hiding spot and stay in one place don't try to kill off the whole team by yourself right stop what you're doing run off away from all the firefights and find a good hiding spot or if you notice that another player on your team is in possession of it your job is to help defend them now I can't stress that enough I don't know how many times I personally have been the beacon holder and I have like no one to defend me and we lose the mission right not because we didn't have possession of it but because I simply didn't have anyone to defend me now if you guys notice at the top of the screen there's a red bar and the green bar the green bar will grow in so far as your team 
is in possession of the uh, of the beacon that you're supposed to protect and you're getting kills while you're protecting it right and then this is kind of like the number of kills you get and the length of time now there's the challenges associated with this some of the challenges now keep in mind I don't have the challenges list right in front of me but I do know that some of the challenges include um, holding the beacon for a certain amount of time right so if you guys want to kind of get some challenges completed that's another incentive for you to hunt that uh, beacon down and to try to be the holder of it I've maxed it out I think you max it out at uh, holding it for a total of 30 minutes right um, another objective is killing beacon holders right so that's another incentive for you to go ahead and hunt this person down so there's a there's a few challenges associated with it so if you ever you know look at your own challenge list and you notice like man I don't really have any challenges completed for um, uh, beacon safeguard that's how you complete them either you get in possession of the beacon yourself and try to hold it without dying dying for as long as you can or just simply being the killer of the beacon holder all right so i hope this first video helped and hey until next time martyr's brigade is